You're gonna pay for what you did to my sisters and what you did to me! Oh, do you guys watch Van Helsing? It is a vampire, action-packed, dramatic series. It's been around for quite a few seasons, and I had the chance to speak with one of the stars about why playing her scary role is so much fun. We need to end it once and for all. Okay, I was watching your stuff just now. You're oh. a and we're gonna have to bleep me for my show. But <laughs> all these characters you play, how fun is this role in particular? This role has been a lot of fun because I've got to, I got to play with a sword and I get to play with <laughs> so many different toys. <laughs> and it's not just uh, this show, but looking at your reel, you play very powerful women. Is this something that you look for when you're looking at scripts? All women are so powerful, you know? I mean, it, that just comes with the territory of being a woman. We birth the kids, we have pain every month, and we have to get up, put on our eyeshadow, and, you know, smile away, put on those heels. You act, you dance, you're also a martial artist. And what, how does that add just to your day in, day out, and how you carry yourself? Well, I've been kind of training on and off uh, since I was little with my dad. That was sort of our way of bonding. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we didn't really have that like conventional father-daughter <laughs> relationship. <laughs> and so he was like, you woman need to fight, defend yourself, no power. And I'm like, okay, dad. I went in and it's been a, yeah, a journey also to get to know that side of of my family. I'm half Korean and half Mexican. Mm -hmm. And um, I've always like had a, a a, more, a better understanding of my Mexican side. I think it's normal for a lot of us to associate with our mom's side. I'm half Cuban and half American. And so I think just naturally the way homes are run, sometimes we kind of take more totally. of one totally. side than the other. But, but with that said, Jen, you've been very outspoken recently when it comes to Asians and, and respect for the Asian community and what, this, what, the, what the Asian community deserves. Did you feel it was your responsibility to come forward and to say something. What's the point of having a platform if you're not using it for good? Does it does it break your heart? Does it make you angry that it takes something like what happened in Atlanta to kind of get everyone to be like, oh, hey, there's a problem here too? Yeah, it does break my heart because, you know, you live with it every day, you feel it every day. It's in, it's in so many um, the undertone. In, in a lot of conversations, you know, and you feel it when you're at the grocery store, you feel it when, and you know, you can hold an American passport, you can hold a Canadian passport, but it, people just judge you based on, on whatever they see and whatever was taught to them. It, it's what generated a conversation. And so perhaps that's step one. Step one may be a little late in the game, but yeah. again, it's yeah. a step in the right yeah. direction. Jen, thank <laughs> you so much for taking the time to chat with us down here in Miami. We appreciate it. Oh man, thank you so much, Jen. Yeah, right. <laughs> Best of luck to you. <laughs> you too, darling. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Come to me.